Hello and welcome to this cryptocurrency technical analysis. And before you say it, I know exactly what you are here for. You are here for the most professional, concise and precise analysis on the web. And that is exactly what I'm gonna give you today. We're gonna to keep this professional. We're gonna keep this enjoyable, upbeat, positive, as well as just informative because, well, that's what you're here for. <laughs> so we're gonna be going over the charts today. Of course, I'll be giving you the exact levels I'm looking for next, current trades, and you know the, the way and roundabout that we're gonna to get to this, okay? So make sure you pay full attention to this video. I'm gonna be sharing a lot of good information with you, and uh, I've got some very interesting bit of news to share with you all that you're gonna absolutely enjoy. Uh, but to start off with, I'm gonna do this in the similar way as always. And I really need you to pay attention to all of the video because I am going to be giving you some insights from my brain of what I'm seeing live in the time, right? So you need to truly understand this, why? So you yourself watching this can implement them in your own trades. My true objective and goal is to get you up to a level where you're able to take your own trades based off of your own analysis. And even if you are at that level, you can use this video to just verify the information that you've done is correct, right? But I'm gonna start off with reviewing the past few days of price action. So first of all, you understand where we are now, you understand the market context. It's absolutely vital to understand the past few days before you start trading now. But also, so you can understand what I was thinking live in the time before that trade happened. So I'll be sharing you know, a few posts and insights of what I've posted in my group before the move has happened. So you can understand you know, things I'm looking for and as a game, you can implement that. Then we'll start to move on to exactly what is happening now. Okay, some major support and resistances that we have and how we can look to proceed to trade the next, well, the rest of this week of price action, right? So um, yeah, I'm, I'm really looking forward to this one and uh, I hope you are too. Let's just get straight into it and uh, picking up where we left off, okay? So we've obviously seen from the swing failure pattern of the high. I think if you're a member of Chart Champions or if you just trade in general, swing failure pattern, fairly simple trade entry, right? So this was our move of the swing failure pattern of the swing failure pattern as we refer it to, right? But it was this move above 25,300, taking out the highs and coming back down below the level, okay? So really simply, it's a swing failure pattern. You take the high, you close back down below, okay? Just show you once again a few insights of what I was looking at before this happened and how, was I, how I was aware and planned for this. This was a Champions live stream, okay, back on the 19th of the month of February this year. And I was really simply looking for a move above the highs for a swing failure pattern of the swing failure pattern. Of course, this is a bearish set up where you enter short positions. Okay, really simply, I've got a plan. I've got the alert set. You can see the alert very simply shared here. Alert set, if that goes off, I check the reaction. And if it's a sw swing failure pattern SFP, I will take a short trade because that is a bearish reaction. So a few things you want to record, make a plan, be aware of a swing failure pattern of the high once more, come back down, set the alert, check the reaction. What happens? You, you can see here yourself, that is a reaction and giving us a swing fire pattern of the swing fire pattern or just locally an SFP, right? So this is the time to take short positions. As you can see other people in my group saying, just dump it now. You know, this is the short trade. There's the alert going off, you know, within minutes, updates are coming out within the group. You know, literally 40 seconds later, we're getting the updates out, taking the short positions and waiting for lower. Why? Because we made the plan, we set the alert, the alert has gone, gone off, We've confirmed the swing failure pattern, and now we're in a very nice, and to be honest, an easy short position. And obviously from the last video that I made, I was openly showing you here um, a short position that I was in. As you can see, the unrealized profits, realized profits of almost six Bitcoin, $141,000. Um, but you know, I'm showing you the real trade in front of your eyes. And again, I will say that is not just showing a percentage, that is showing the actual trade amount too. Uh, you know, and then from there, obviously I was showing you that short position and we did get a drop. Okay. We got quite a big drop at that actually out after that. Um, we got a drop down and we ended up coming down to a really key level of support that I'm going to share with you here. Okay. So I want you to just paint a picture inside of your head. Again, this is before the level has been hit that I'm giving this to my team. I'm short on Bitcoin, you know, as shown freely here on the public, as talked about many times, SFP of, of the SFP, short from $25,000, okay? 
So I'm short on Bitcoin and I'm explaining why I want prices to come down lower. I then give a target of 22,725. Have a guess what the low will be on Bitcoin next. Are you going to be betting on 22,725 with me or not? And for me, I had this really nice zone of NPOC to 22. $1,725. And of course, I'll explain the, the reasons for this why so you can understand. But here we can actually see. Very sorry about that, my friends. <laughs> this is how my brain works. Here I am doing the Bitcoin analysis and in the corner of my eye, I just remembered, oh yeah, I actually have to manage that NVIDIA trade. And I was meant to do that half an hour ago at New York Open and I forgot to do so. And well, to be honest, it was more urgent that I just managed that trade really quickly. And so I've done that. And here we are about five minutes later, right? So, uh, NVIDIA, by the way, what an asset to trade. All I'm going to say, I'm back with Bitcoin anyway and picking up where we were. So we had obviously seen the rejection from $25,300. We were coming down, coming down, coming down. I told my team, you know, the big zone for me of support is from the NPOC to $22,725. Okay, this is obviously our <laughs> very nice target. You can see myself and others. Perfection is damn perfection off of this level. As I'll just show you exactly what happened here when we zoom in a little bit. Okay, so you can see marked out here, 22,725, the level that we're looking at. And how price come down to this really perfectly. Of course, not hit the NPOC, but we got a swing failure pattern of the previous low onto 22,725, the exact low to be precise, $22,719. So not bad, right? Uh, move on to that level, back above, ending in a swing failure pattern. And from there, we got this lovely, lovely rise to the upside, right? And now I'll explain what happens off of this high. And then we're going to move on to exactly what's happening next. Okay, so one final time, we had the swing fire pattern 23,000, sorry, 25,300. That was off of the swing fire pattern of the high. Come back down. Where do we come down to? 22,725. This, the reason of this was you had the CC here, you had some Eagle sessions here, and of course you had the NPOC just below it, which was slightly front run, which is fine because of the fact it ended in a swing failure pattern and the other bigger supports being hit, it was an acceptable reaction for a long trade. Well, you can see myself and a few others getting into that long. And from here, we see a rise in price and we reject. I'll show you this really perfectly. So you can see above us, NPOC 23887, bam. Wick onto 23887 NPOC. Boom, boom, boom. <laughs> uh, I'm going to show you a really nice level of confluence that you would have had of this, and it is off of our anchored view app tool. Okay, so our anchored view app actually from the highs here, making its way down and came into this with absolute perfection. And a little bit of a plug if you want to learn about anchored view apps. This was the latest contender session that we've released on the website covering Anchored View Apps. This was perfect because this was released, as you can see, Monday morning at 9 a.m. And we hit that uh, Monday at 3 p.m. So it was just absolutely perfect how we released the educational module on Anchored View Apps in the morning. And then we had the exact high put in off of the Anchored View App in the evening. So yeah, that was that was very nice indeed. Uh, and obviously a large move to the downside off of that, retested the daily, retested the daily, and we're putting in a little bit of a, an internal range here. Um, so now we're gonna start to move on to what we're looking at next. Um, so I hope you've absorbed that information. Okay, I start, you can start, you, bleh, hope you can start to understand what I'm looking at, the insights, how I'm understanding these levels, how I'm understanding these zones. It's all about confluence, context, and then of course the confidence to take the trade, right? And um, yeah, from here, we're gonna start to look at what's happening now and what we're looking at next. One very quick announcement that I'd like to do, and that is that I've decided to stop clickbait titles. Uh, you know, I've always found it a reason of doing them of, I want people to listen to what I'm saying and not trade off the title. So if I'm just putting in some random title, well, anyone trading off of that is not gonna be happy, basically. Uh, I really wanted people to listen to the content, but I've decided to change that. I've decided to stop using clickbait or, you know, these emotional type of titles. Why? For a few factors that many times, you know, I'm put saying, oh my God, Bitcoin's about to crash. 
uh, and you know people are trading off of that and then there's a move to the upside uh, but of course you have to remember like this is just literally clickbait I'm not even saying that in the video and it does make me look slightly bad right because I'm putting these titles and then a, a reverse can happen of that something completely different and people then can just think oh my god this guy's getting it wrong and I of course pride myself on a very good high win rate and I'm not getting it wrong but understandably especially new people coming to the channel that will just look at the title can be like hey this guy's really bullish and price dropped uh not listening to anything i've said and just looking at the title right and it and it just simply looked like i was wrong when i actually wasn't so i've decided well you know I, i'm gonna get less views on the videos and i'm just gonna say i don't actually care about it to be honest right so i'm happy to get less views but for the viewers here to, you know, <laughs> not have to put up with the clickbait. So yeah, I'm putting a stop to that. We're not going to be doing that anymore. And, uh, you know, some people obviously found it funny. I, I kind of just done it for the laughs and I did, I did find it funny. And also for teaching people a lesson. But at the end of the day, yeah, it, it is, there's, I just feel like I want to stop doing that now. We'll just keep everything much more professional. The videos in general as well can be increased in, in quality. So we're really going to try hard to, you know, the back end on the website, everything is now times 100 improved so well that start to put in a bit more effort onto the public videos i think is also fair enough um so yeah that's the announcement that i want to give you the clickbait will stop <laughs> and as you see here if you want the daily updates from igor from myself me and igor do the daily live stream updates now every single day you got a live stream from igor and myself um so if you want to get that if you want to get the new you know educational modules Next week, starting Elliott Waves. We're starting Elliott Waves next week. So if you want to learn about Elliott Waves as well, <laughs> you know what to do, chartchampions.com. Everything you've ever needed really, truly is in this package on the platform. Uh, yeah, I'm always going to be super happy to talk about this because I truly know this is life-changing education that you can get. You're not going to see it anywhere else. Or well, you're always going to see it from us first. <laughs> Maybe it will get copied later on in time. But always the first place to be, chartchampions.com. Elliot Waves coming next week. Um, so yeah, we've said all that said. Now let's start to look at what we're looking at next. So of course, we're being held down currently by this lovely anchored VWAP. Just look at that perfection off of the anchored VWAP there. Bam, into the anchored VWAP, large drop to the downside. But let's just remove that for now. We've obviously tapped that level. And we can see we have a few key levels above us. Okay. So really the weekly here is a nice one around 24,200. And of course this NPOC never was tapped here. We, we bound, we, well, here we actually had four levels of confluence, right? So one of them wasn't tapped, the other three were. So that is the reason why we bounced and didn't quite reach this level. But nevertheless, this is still a level, right? So we can be aware of that 22,687, right? This is a naked born control. Uh, above us, I would, you know, th there's always this case where here below us, right, we now have like a few lows down here. So we have the potential of a swing failure pattern of this low. And I am aware that we do have a swing failure pattern potential of this high to around 24K, which would, you know, put in the high here, back down, not quite reach the weekly. So these are levels where, again, I would just set an alert, check the reaction, much like I did when I shorted $25,000, right? Set the alert, check the reaction. You can see here, this is a bearish reaction wick above down below one minute later telling my team it's a swing fire pattern the reason why i love these type of alerts set and check the reaction trades because if you're looking for a swing fire pattern here and you just go straight through the level well there's no short to be taken there and you look for the next level above us the same here if we're looking for a potential long here we have the alert set and we just go straight through the level there's no trade if we get a bullish reaction then we can get that trade set up right so for me, I love to do that. Set the alerts, check the reaction, then make an informed decision of taking the trades. How do we make informed decisions? We can see visually and of course with the order flow. Oh, and this is another announcement while I'm at it. This is the brand new templates that I've got set up here. Of course, we've got new assets templates. This is Exo Desktop. So we've got brand new templates coming your way this week as well. So not only are you going to be gifted with Elliott Waves, you're also going to be gifted with brand new templates. Uh, so yeah, this is easily took me over 60 hours to make. So a lot of time and effort has gone into all of these. So I hope you're looking forward to uh, using them. And they'll also be, re be released on chartchampions.com this week. You've got a lot of stuff coming your way. Um, 
But yeah, to make an informed decision, set the alert, check the reaction, check the order flow, make an informed decision of, do you want to take that short, yes or no? I wouldn't preset with a limit order. I would wait to see the reaction and then take the trade. So for me, that does require a little bit of discipline and patience right now. I personally wouldn't jump into a trade where we are right now. Okay, there is no reason for me to think, yes, now is a very good time to take a trade. If I was going for a long, well, my target is going to be above the high. The stop loss is still fairly wide. And if I was going for a short, my stop loss is very wide for a small target. E.g., the risk to reward on these trades are not good, but that's not the reason why I wouldn't take their trade. The reason why is because it's not a high probability trade. You know me. I only take the best. I only take the very best trades. I'm also now more of a swing trader. I trade more on the higher term timeframes, looking at the macro picture on a swing trader's perspective. Here right now, I don't have that. I don't have a trade setup. So I myself must remain patient. You know, if you're a sculpt trader like Igor, Severin or Rivalry, well, great. <laughs> you know, there's, there's a lot of opportunities in here. But myself, I'm more of a swing trader, right? And so I don't have an opportunity. So I must remain patient and wait for higher prices to get a trade setup where I'd look for shorts, of course, or a lower price entry where I'd look for my longs. I only look to short when price is rising and long when price is dropping. So I'm never caught out on the wrong side of the market in that regard. I'm never taking extremely high risks. I love to get into these type of trades where I've got a really valid high probability trade setup and my risk is very well defined. And generally that risk is then equal to being low as well. But I'm not, I'm not that bothered. I can take a trade with, you know, a 5% stop loss. But if I can get a trade entry where the risk is or the, the invalidation is 0.5% away, you know, I can adjust my position sizes and, and trade trade that accordingly. So, um, yeah, for me, that is what I'm looking at. The levels that I'm aware of, of course, swing for a pattern of the highs or lows of this, absolutely acceptable. But really, the MPOC still remains for me a, a, a big level. And I will also always say this, these are zones, right? So you can look at this down to like 22,500 and this weekly above us could be looked at a zone up to around 24,400, right? So they are zones of highs and lows. Don't need to look at exact dollar levels. But for me, those are the next best two opportunities. And, and, and for me, I'm happy to remain patient, um, you know, waiting for one of those levels to come into play and, and get a, a good trading setup. Of course, if you are remaining patient like me, well, there's a few things you can do. As I've already mentioned, I've done a live stream today, uh, you know, <laughs> done a live stream today you also had the stock and forex Dude, live stream which is going on right now i'm going to catch up with this but you know you've got live trading streams in here you're going to have live trading happening on the you know right in front of you on the stream this is happening right now as we speak i'm doing my daily updates so i've come in here for a daily update live stream today as well so you've got daily live streams you've got the live trading you've got all of that over on the website right now right so um yeah if, 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 you, if you don't know what to do, you can watch the content, educate yourself, learn, empower to get you up to the level where you want to be. And alternatively, well, you can start to trade some altcoins, trade the stock market. So a good option as well, right? Or if you're like me, go back. I took a quick break to do this video or go back and work on the Elliott Wave modules. Uh, so yeah, all that coming very, very, very shortly on the website over the course of this and next week. You got all of that good stuff coming out. So I hope you've thoroughly enjoyed this video. Thank you ever so much. And that is me signing out. Cheers, everybody. Thank you and goodbye. Hope you've thoroughly enjoyed. Cheers.